Before we get to sort of um, the longer term model and competition, just the NHTSA thing, wh what do you make of it? Are they over overstepping here? So, no, I, I think, you know, la Tesla is being very, um, very innovative, very aggressive in the way they're innovating. Autopilot is probably their, their most innovative feature. Uh, the NHTSA is, uh, th that's their job, you know, to, to, to probe and evaluate things and pick uh, incident accidents uh, uh, and, and, and try and figure out what, what could be wrong. So I think it's very healthy to see these investigations uh, happening, I think. If I recall correctly, at the moment, uh, the NHTSA has 32 investigations ongoing at the same time uh, in preliminary evaluation, uh, and they're testing, you know, things um, that, that uh, happen uh, for, at every every car brand. So seeing Tesla being part of that um, mix and seeing Tesla being probed on what is really the, the most advanced um, area of their technology makes complete sense uh, for now. Then on the FTC, the, 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 the idea of the FTC uh, investigating Tesla into their claims and things like that, you know, I think there is a thin line of being very excited about the new technology and talking about full self-driving. Um, and the, what we have to, re to, to, to remember and what, is what Tesla is very clear about uh, yes. uh, is that this technology has to be supervised by the driver. And so if you agree that Tesla is communicating that properly, then everything Tesla is saying about the capabilities uh, of, of, of the technology is fairly straightforward. But what, what we all have to remember uh, is that Tesla is also saying that the technology has to be supervised at any point in time by the driver, right. and not by a driver being able to take over immediately. I understood. One, one of your main points is, the, is that you believe Tesla is years ahead of the other legacy OEMs on efficiency in EVs. You do not worry about competition. And I wonder, you know, we've heard so many bragging points come out of Ford uh, and, and Volkswagen and who knows who else uh, amid the wave that's coming of, of competing models. What would they need to say to, to make you write uh, Tesla's under the gun? So, you know, maybe they would need to sell uh, a car that is like on paper competitive with, with Tesla, what Tesla is selling, and at, at, simil at a similar margin. Uh, if they can do that, then I think the competitive uh, gap is, uh, uh, is, uh, is filled up and is uh, narrowed down to, to, to nothing. But the reality is that today, like the, the, the price of the Model 3, $35,000, or let's say $45,000, if you take an average selling price, uh, and the car, like uh, printing a gross margin that is slowly heading toward 30%, tells you how cost efficient Tesla is. And when you look at Ford and others and uh, Volkswagen in Europe, putting into the market uh, electric cars, like on a similar kind of size and build as a, as a Model 3, these cars are selling for at least um, $10,000 more. On average, like a few months, it was $15,000 more. And I think there is a broad consensus that these cars are probably not losing money, but like making a very low entry entry level margin. Okay, so that's the situation today. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.